Easter is the celebration of Jesus' triumph over death. Do not be afraid, the Gospel of Mark says. He has risen. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Pope Francis says, to go to Galilee means to begin anew. It means to start again from where we began. The message of Easter is, it is always possible to begin anew. Because there is always a new life that God can awaken in us in spite of all our failures. By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve a table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. Responsorial Psalm Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with a ten string lyre chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading.
Does the Lord Jesus ever seem distant to you? When John recounted the scene of the apostles being alone at the sea in a storm, he described the situation as dark. It was dark not only physically but spiritually as well. Although they were experienced fishermen, they were fearful for their lives. The Lord's sudden presence and His supernatural ability to walk towards them on top of the rough waves of the sea only made them more fearful. John says they were frightened, and Jesus had to calm them with reassuring command. Do not be afraid, because I am here with you. Aren't we like the apostles when we experience moments of darkness, fear, and trials? While the Lord may at times seem absent or very distant to us, He nonetheless is always present and close by. The scriptures remind us that the Lord is a very present help in trouble. Whatever storms may beset us, He promises to bring us to our desired haven and place of calm, rest, and safety. The Lord keeps watch over us at all times, and especially in our moments of temptation and difficulty. Do you rely on the Lord for His strength and help? Jesus assures us that we have no need of fear if we put our trust in Him and in His great love and care for us. When calamities or trials threaten to overwhelm you, how do you respond? With faith and hope in God's love, personal care, and presence with you? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may I never doubt your saving help and your watchful presence in my life, especially in times of trouble. Fortify my faith with courage and give me enduring hope that I may never waver in my trust in you.